Hello, I'm Summer Hunter and welcome to Beyond the Game. We're pitch side at the Europa League final, the doping scandal saga continues and the new uniforms are out for the Paralympian swimmers. All this and more right now. Well, moving on now to the Euros, the group stages are coming to an end and there have been quite a few surprises. None more though than the performances of Croatia. That is a lot of numbers, so here to help us make sense of them all is my favourite person in Paris, Greg oh, Kapitas, oh, editor at large at TFC World. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, Bonsoir. 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 what's happening? Staying with the Premier League, Chelsea's famous winning streak of 13 victories in a row has come to an end at the hand of fierce rivals Tottenham Hotspur. Real Madrid may have missed out on a bombing, but word on the street is that the 11-time European champions could be preparing a bid for Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Dele Ali. And speaking of dethronings, just when you thought the All Blacks could never be beaten, well, they go and lose. And not to who you might have expected. Ireland claimed their first win over New Zealand in 111 years, and they did it in some style at that. Here's Lance Santos. Earlier, we caught up with European Tour golfer Florian Fritsch, who isn't playing in Dubai this week, but knows exactly what kind of pressure the guys are under. While our minds usually go to football whenever we think of Brazilian sport, there was one thing that the creators of Joga Bonito were missing, and that was Olympic gold. Until now, of course. Well, joining me now in the studio is Dakar Rally participant Koray Ozkaplan. Thank you so much for joining us, Koray. Pleasure for him. So it has to be one of the most incredibly difficult sports events on the calendar. Why do people do it? Is it for the victory? Is it because they want to challenge themselves, see if they can survive? I think it's to conquer the world, really. Brazil, a country usually known for its love of football, samba and sunshine. But now with the Olympic Games, Rio de Janeiro is opening its doors to new sports. Lance Santos is in this city checking out if there is more to life than just football. Well, we've been debating about some of the best moments and one of the top contenders is actually of your producer riding around a lake on a plastic swan. But what would you say is your defining moment over there in Rio? <laughs> Yeah, the swan certainly springs to mind, but uh, my defining <laughs> moment would be, uh, of course, Wade van Eekerk. From one of the craziest races on the planet to the serenity of Test cricket, considered as one of the greatest opening batsmen of the 20th century, Australian Arthur Morris has become the 82nd player to be inducted into International Cricket's Hall of Fame. By now, I'm pretty sure that all of you know what a mannequin challenge is. Almost every sports team on the planet has done one. But there have been some rather unsuccessful cases, just like the Phoenix Suns. Take a look. And now that we've covered the scandalous side of things, it's time for some sporting action. Let's have a quick look at the latest medal winners in Rio. That's all from us here at Beyond the Game. We teased you with some great pictures from the Dakar Rally a little bit earlier, so we thought we'd leave you with some more. Enjoy.